Good night and welcome to Penal Madena's first in this new broadcast. Digital Costa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week's news. The Juas Contest and the lighting of the fair marked the beginning of the San Juan festivities at Arroyo de la Miel last Friday, bringing together loads of neighbors and visitors to our municipality. The patron saint festivities of Arroyo de la Miel in honor of San Juan Bautista start last Friday with a magnificent response of assistance and involvement of the neighbors of the municipality and hundreds of people who came to visit from other places. Within the wide range of activities held in its first days, the mayor of Benalmadena, Juan Antonio Lara, accompanied by festivities councilwoman Yolanda Peña and other members of the municipal corporation, start his tour of the Noche de San Juan visiting the numerous huas located in different parts of the locality, a tradition in which different ironic scenes are staged for the iconic scenes for the amusement of those in attendance. Lara highlight the importance of maintaining our traditions and review the various events that could take place on Friday in Arroyo de la Miel to kick off our festivities. Thanks to all of you who make this fair great, to those who have participated with our traditional juas, to those who have embellished your street and balconies, to the brotherhoods and peñas who organize the verbenas and to all the neighbors who have been part of this great night of San. Juan, so special and magical, both on the costa and in the town and in Arroyo de la Miel. I would like to highlight the lighting of the lights in the Plaza de la Autonomía de Blas Infante, a special moment that marks the beginning of the fair, which starts filling our Arroyo de la Miel with fun and joy, and from here I would like to invite everyone, neighbors and visitors, to enjoy with our customs, traditions and culture. The mayor also visited, together with the Consular for Festivities, the festivities organized by the Brotherhoods of Redención and Rocío, which with popular prices in Leven the first night, so that all visitors can share the joy of these festive days in the streets of the town. Friday night also saw the lighting of the lights in the Plaza de la Autonomía in Avenida Blas Infante, a special moment in which the mayor accompanied by the queens and knights of the fair. On the coast, the climax came at one o'clock in the morning with the fireworks display and a show full of lights, projections, color and music which from the El Bilbil Castle filled the entire sky of Benalmadena for 10 minutes. A great final climax to the night which served to kick off the celebrations of San Juan 2023 in Arroyo de la Miel. Benalmadena Costa is one of the main tourist attractions of the municipality. Last week, the mayor visited several works being carried out in the area, such as those in Plaza Olé, which have already been completed. The mayor of Benalmadena, Juan Antonio Lara, together with Roads and Works Councilman José Luis Vergillos, visited last week various works in the Costa area, specifically those in Plaza Olé, the Santa Ana Staircase, and the remodeling of Avenida Alay. In this avenue, the works are still in progress, being already asphalt and in an advanced state of paving. Lara announced that they are expected to be finished in mid July. En la mañana de hoy hemos visitado la zona de Benalmadena Costa y sobre todo incidiendo en esas obras que todavía pues algunas de ellas están We have just supervised the state of the works on Avenida Alay which are divided into two phases from the Avenida Solima roundabout to the Torre Bermeja roundabout work is still continuing and the road is already asphalt and in an advanced state of paving the work plan with which we are working includes opening on Friday 30th the road access to the Alay Hotel car park and then opening the avenue as a whole. After the technical measurements, there are no problems for the crossing of gondola-type vehicles or buses, but we have requested the road surface test, which were carried out last week by the Quality Control Laboratory. They are not yet available, but the thicknesses indicated in the project is compatible with the possible heavy traffic that could pass through the road. The mayor pointed out that the town hall has finally received the final works certificate for the Plaza Olé, which has led to the opening of the enclave to the public, with the protective fences being removed, and also spoke about the future reception of the Santa Ana staircase. At Plaza Olé, the town hall finally has the final certificate of work, so it has proceeded to the opening to the public of the enclave, removing the protective fences. Now, 
an intense coordination effort has been set in motion between areas to conclude the outstanding issues for which operational services is proceeding with the pruning of the palm trees and the cleaning of the fountain and the paving of the square. As for the Santa Ana staircase, although we have received the final certificate of work issued on June 21st, it is clear that the staircase is not finished, lacking, among other things, the lighting. The contractor informed us that it will be installed next week and that we will be able to open it to the public. For the moment, the recommendation is that it should not be carried out until everything is ready and in a compliance with the maximum guarantees foreseen. The mayor of Benalmada, Juan Antonio Lara, and Foreign Residents Council woman Presia Aguilera held a meeting with representatives of various foreign residents associations in the municipality to hear their demands. The mayor of Benalmadena, Juan Antonio Lara, held a meeting at City Hall with representatives of various groups of foreign residents in order to show his full support and commitment and to establish the main lines of collaboration between the local administration and foreign citizens. This group represents around 30% of the population of Benalmadena and is made up of more than 140 nationalities. The mayor, who was accompanied by Foreign Residents Councilwoman Presia Aguilera, stressed the importance of establishing lines of collaboration between the town hall and the foreign residents. We are here in Benalmadena in town hall uh, with all the association here in Benalmadena. It's necessary, this meeting. Um, in all the years, because we needed to know all the organization uh, as to, uh, to us uh, with the government here in Mermadena, it's necessary to, to do it, uh, things uh, uh, with all the association. And it's necessary that the culture here is in Mermadena uh, potential with the, this uh, government. That's the reason that uh, we are here with this meeting and we do it this meeting in future with all organizations and associations here in Benalmadena. For her part, Aguilera highlighted that her delegation will work to achieve a more cohesive society and for this they will make available to foreigners all the tools at their disposal. I would like today to thank all the different people coming from several nationalities residing here in, in Benalmadena. Um, I am the new tourism and foreign residence councillor for the Benalmadena Town Hall. Um, I would like to say that we are welcoming all nationalities living in our, in our town. And also the mayor is, uh, wanted to share the same thing. We are, we are expecting to, to, to listen to you, to listen to all the, uh, any requirements, any proposals. We are open. Um, personally, I work, I work all my life in, in, in a foreign consulate and I am um, a lecturer for interpreting in a Malaga University. So you are all welcome in our town and thank you for, for this opportunity. Among the representatives of the associations, we were able to speak with Luca Movaldi, president of the American International Club, who thanked the government team for the invitation to this meeting, stressing his desire to be able to collaborate with the council. I'm here in representation of the American International, American and the international community in Benamadona. It is a wonderful place where you feel always welcome. We were kindly invited by the Ayuntamiento, by Joanna, the mayor, and the councillors to introduce themselves in a very humble, in a wonderful way. They listened to our needs and they showed us the way to work together and to live in a better city that we consider our home. Among the groups that attended the meeting were the Irish Association, Culture Club, German Association, Age Concern Association, Welsh Association, Scottish Association, Ukrainian Association, Muslim Community, Hindu Community, American International Club, and interpreters from the Health and Police Centers. Although the Costa del Sol is still expecting a tourist boom this summer, the stagnation of bookies has triggered some business owners to offer deals in order to attract more holiday makers. Some hotels on the Costa del Sol are starting to offer deals in a bid to receive demand after bookings slow down in mid-May and have not picked up. 
last minute bookings were being snapped up very quickly since the start of the year, but they start to slow in mid May and are yet to regain momentum just a few days out from the beginning of July. Although the area is still expecting a tourism boom this summer, the slow rate of bookings has tricked some business owners to offer deals to attract more holiday makers. Hotels have attributed the slowdown in bookings to the final stretch of the academic year and uncertainty about final grades, as well as the general elections, which were pushed forward and will now be held on July 23rd. The AECOS Association of Hoteliers of the Costa del Sol confirmed it was starting to see a trickle of offers for July in hotels on the Costa del Sol and that the rate of sales is not recovering. In its latest report, hotel occupancy levels are below those of last year for July and August, reaching 82.16% in July and close to 80% in August. Although the association expects to update the data this week, it was the start of June when AECOS raised the alarm about the slowdown in bookings, warning that the rate of demand for July and August is between 10 and 40 percent below that record last year. The deals to encourage demand are different among hotels. They depend on the type of client, the main markets they work with, and the level of occupancy they manage. Numerous establishments and chains believe that, despite being affected by this slowdown, it is too early to act and that summer is not the time to lower prices. Founder of the MS Hotels chain, Miguel Sánchez, said a drop in demand, especially from Spaniards, has been noticeable in the past two or three weekends. The sector have had a very good start to the year, a good summer is expected, but the pace of sales reflects the uncertainty of families due to the high impact of inflation. Some of the promotions hotels are offering include deals such as seven nights for the price of six, including breakfast or simply to reduce the price or to reduce the minimum stay by no longer making bookings conditional on four or five nights. The causes of this slowdown are also being attributed to inflation and the rise in interest rates. The sector believes the increase in mortgage is the main trigger for these first signs of stagnant bookings. Interest rates have continued to climb to the current 4% and in the case of housing, following the rate rises adopted by the European Central Bank and the rise in the Euribor average interest rate in April was 3.9%, up from 1.77% a year earlier and the highest since April 2017. The situation does not look like it will improve anytime soon. Just last Thursday, the Euribor climbed to 4.11%, which is a new record not to see since 2008, when the Great Recession and subsequent financial crisis start to threaten. The name of Real Madena continues to resonate around the world and to our local athletes and their success. Last week, City Hall received the visit of professional paddle player Jairo Bautista, number 61 of the World Paddle Tour ranking. The mayor of Benalmadena, Juan Antonio Lara, and sports councilwoman Jessica Trujillo held an encounter last week at City Hall with the elite athlete Jairo Bautista. This young 22-year-old from Benalmadena is reaping great success in the world of paddle tennis, becoming in recent times a benchmark in this practice, both nationally and internationally. Lara valued his career and opened the doors of the consistory to local athletes. First of all, I would like to congratulate Jairo for his successful sporting career and for his perseverance, for his effort, vocation, competitiveness and sportsmanship, encourage him to continue cultivating his talent and assure him that the doors of this town hall will always be open to help him and to continue launching his sport career, and that we will always be at the side of the young promises of sport in the town, supporting them and giving them a hand so that they continue to have a great track record and carrying the name of Benalmadena all over the world. For his part, Bautista emphasized that it is an honor to be received at the town hall, stressing the importance of institutional support and talking about his season and next challenges. 
La verdad que te digo que es un honor que me ha This reception is a great pride for me and my family. I'm really happy to have been invited here to be received by the new mayor Juan Antonio Lara. I am already preparing for my next challenge, which is the World Padel Tour in Valencia. I want to thank my coach for his support and help. I want to thank the city council for receiving me and showing support for local athletes. This is an important moral boost. Trujillo highlight the support and commitment. I want to show him the full support and commitment that the town hall can provide him, giving him all possible facilities so he can continue to achieve great success, being one of the best ambassadors of world sport for Benalmadena. Jairo is currently ranked number three in the Spanish Paddle Federation, 61st in the World Paddle Tour and 68th in the International Paddle Federation. The most immediate challenge he faces is the World Paddle Tour in Valencia. And these are today's headlines. Arroyo de la Miel celebrates San Juan. Lara visits works in Benalmadena Costa. Meeting at City Hall with 40 residents associations. Costa del Sol hotels offer deals as summer bookings a slow down. Jairo Bautista visits the town hall. The weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with fairly cloudy skies with intervals of low morning clouds without ruling out some weak and isolated precipitation. Minimum temperatures unchanged are around 21 degrees and maximum temperatures of 29. And that's all. Thank you for watching us and remember you can stay updated on our website or social media profile on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.